Hey guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, old folks and young folks alike. Welcome to some more Let's Play of Prison Architect. My name is Leducium, and I haven't had any deaths in my prison in the last few days, so I think that's a plus. <laughs> that's the standard, that, that's the bar that I'm setting for myself. It's not exceptionally high, but it's good enough. And that is how I des I've decided to live my life, uh, shooting for good enough. So, anyways, no deaths in the last, like, I don't know, three or four days, and that's pretty good. Um, we're holding classes for people, past chances going up, that's awesome. Uh, this guy's past chances going up, we're training him in something or other, so eventually we'll be able to have people working here. Um, we have people in the laundry, that's awesome too. We might eventually have people in the kitchen somehow, I don't know how to get people into the kitchen sitting needs alcohol don't we all um, another laundry person awesome so work is being done janitorial people cleaning areas cleaning areas that's great I don't know, other people wandering around randomly in the dark and good okay this guy's cleaning. I want people in the kitchen. Deployment. How do I deploy prisoners' jobs? Qualified prisoner zero. Okay. Let's go back to programs for a sec. Uh, where's kitchen safety and hygiene? Led by a cook in the kitchen. Session length two hours. Okay. Each prisoner requires a cooker. Okay, voluntary, practical, easy. Yeah, I don't understand. Like right now, it's kitchen time. Maybe it's because they only do it right before food. But then this 10 a.m. to noon. 10 to 11, 11 to 12. This is two hours, isn't it? 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, so this is two hours right here. This is two hours. So any of these blocks, um, well, this block wouldn't do because it's too late, but this block should be plenty. I don't know. Don't quite understand. That's fine. Okay, whatever. Free time, shower. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to forget about this. We're going to put the shower right here. We're going to move free time up to here. Then we're going to move work up to here. And then we're going to actually move this up to here. Maybe. Uh, let's see if this makes things easier. And then we'll reschedule this to adjust all of these times. I don't know if this will be better, but I'd rather have them working and eating uh, than doing nothing. Uh, where's the schedule? So I extended eat. No, they don't need this much eat, eat time. So what we're going to do is just put in more work. More work, okay. And then we'll go to programs and reschedule all programs. 9 to 11, 11 to 1, 9 to 11, 11 to 1. 9 to 12 because uh, this one yeah it's like three hours I believe yeah session length three hours session length two hours session length one hour so the methadone program I can have a bunch uh, education I can only really have one kitchen safety and hygiene though we could have more if we wanted to 9 to 11, 11 to 1, but that's fine. And this is fine for now. Okay, let's see if we can get some more people to pass some of this crap, actually. So, shower quickly. Everyone's running. I want more people actually passing. I should have enough showers for, well, I don't know if I have enough for 81 prisoners, but there's enough time for everybody to shower in theory. 
if they don't just stand around. Like, look at this. Free shower heads right here, and these guys are just crowding around for no reason. Maybe they're shy, I don't know, but it seems stupid. And then they don't shower. Maybe they just don't like to shower. My dog doesn't like to uh, bathe, so I'm assuming it's like that. <laughs> There's our teacher who should be let in, and then we can have a class. Why did you stop letting that person in? Let everybody else in. All right, we've got visitors, we've got teachers, we have this guy, the foreman, doing his thing, and then the teacher is going to do her thing. What I need to do is dismantle these two tables. We should also put in water into the classroom and into the other area. Where the hell is the water? Sprinkler, that's what I need. Install a sprinkler right here, and we'll install a sprinkler there. All right, so once dismantle to do, okay, so once these guys are dismantled, we'll rearrange them so that they're facing this way and we have a bit more room, and then we'll put some chairs in here and hopefully be able to do some Alcoholics Anonymous. Uh, all right, plenty of people in the classroom. This guy has been going to a lot of these classes. I was expecting him to pass earlier. Uh, pass chance 43, come on, you guys need to eventually pass this stuff so that we can start producing crap okay so we'll need to run water to those things and these guys are dismantled which is good because what we can do is then go to objects we'll take these pool tables lay them out like so maybe I'll put both of them uh, I don't know we'll do this and then we'll build chairs like so and then we can hold some alcoholic, alcoholics anonymous meetings in here. So program, where is the alcoholics anonymous? So we need a common room, a psychologist, session length two hours. Each prisoner requires a chair. Good. Perfect. So start running some pipes out this way. Uh, how do we do this? The easiest thing is to ignore the prison building itself and just go this way. And I'll run a pipe across like so. And then we will uh, start hooking up small pipes to this and to this. It's quite a bit of money, but that's all right. We have the cash for now. Surprise the electricity is so low. And this one is kind of low. I think. I don't know if this means there's a lot of electricity or a little. I'm thinking it's li a little. But we'll see. All right. Doesn't say how well they're doing in the classroom here. But uh, I'm hoping three passed. All right. So we're very close uh, to being able to start work that. Uh, kitchen safety and hygiene. We still haven't had anybody pass. That sucks. Ten interested. Uh, nobody's passed yet. Behavioral therapy. Nobody's passed. Jeez. Uh, methadone program. At least people are passing this. And we'll see about Alcoholics Anonymous. So what we're going to do is get rid of one of these. Because we had three people pass. And we're going to do this. Carpentry, carpentry apprenticeship. apprenticeship. Uh, so, yeah. So 9 to 11 and then 11 to 1. Perfect.
Definitely need more food out here. I'm hoping that these guys will cook it up, but we'll see. Maybe we need more stoves, possibly. More burners. I could put burners in the middle here, and that would be fine. And I'll still have plenty of room to move around. People, stop trying to sneak crap out. Spoons, needle, yeah. Another spoon. Alright, well, whatever. Alright, so we'll keep things on high speed because... I don't know. It's going to take a while uh, to install all these pipes and everything like that. I want to see these classrooms and workshops actually at work. Uh, three are resting, four are resting. Okay, so we do have people resting up. I'm hoping to get more people released. We can take on ten more people. It's pretty awesome. Uh, how's this coming along? Almost done. Actually done. Perfect. So pipes are built. Sprinklers have been installed. Not too many people are pissed. So that's great. How's the food coming along? Food situation? Yeah, it's coming along. These guys are, I don't know, I guess lining up for food. Food. Okay. Well, we're getting there. We're cooking it up as best as we can. But it goes pretty quickly. Alright. So food situation is more or less under control. Yeah, I'm really curious to see. Uh, I guess the classroom and the school Carpentry won't be used, but this might. The, uh, the chairs and the Alcoholics Anonymous. Where's my Alcoholics Anonymous? Methadone program. 10. Yep, program. I don't know what this means. Starting. But I should see people here. There's our psychologist. And then hopefully people will show up to the program. Psychologist, where the hell did you go? Come back here. Come back to the common room. Talk to these people. Make them alcoholics and anonymous. It's not that anonymous where when you're in a group with a bunch of other people. Let's be honest. You know what <laughs> you know what is alcoholics anonymous is if you go to a bar and you don't know anybody and you're just drinking there by yourself. That is an anonymous alcoholic. I don't know where I was going with that. That makes very little sense. Alright. This is good enough. Okay, I'm happy with all this crap. Let's buy two armed guards. Um, Alright. Wearing stab wet vest. Okay, so these guys aren't doing anything yet. We'll assign them to patrols soon. Arm guards to patrol. Assign two arm guards to patrols. Assign two dog handlers to a dog patrol. Okay. First things first. Uh, patrols deployment. Arm arm patrols. We're gonna do an arm patrol of the perimeter out here. I think is fair. So there's one arm guard. It's going to just patrol up and down the, this perimeter. And where's the other patrol going to be? Uh, I don't. No. I guess we'll just do a patrol around the whole uh, outside of this building, I guess. That can be the other patrol. Although there doesn't really seem to be too much trouble inside of the building itself. The last time there was a riot, it was out here in the yard, but that's fine. I think patrolling up and down the per the outside here is a good idea. In fact, what I should have done earlier on is just patrol the gate. Would have had less escapes. Um, okay. That's good. The good thing is about the patrols is they can le let people in and out. Like these janitors, they can let them in and out of uh, the different cells as needed. 
All right. Another thing I want to do is go to materials. Let's slow things down a little bit. And we'll go to stone, speed normal. I want to see speed slow, slow, fast. So if we do paving stones or concrete tiles, um, we can pave this road here and it'll make traveling up and down this area much faster, which I think is a good idea. Maybe we'll pave this. Just remember the roads in my prison are paved with good intentions, so uh, there we go. And there we go. So ideally this will make traveling around a little bit faster for people and prisoners. Okay, patrols are going on, things are going on. These guys are in the showers and eventually, if all goes well, I should have them in the classrooms and workshops and crap do actually doing stuff. Free time for an hour it looks like, okay, it's fine. Some folks come down here and just sit. 60, 46, this guy's 60 years old. Mr. Felix something. There are my visitors and my teacher. There's our foreman. Carrying staff key and a clipboard. And there's our pathway getting installed. So this should speed up uh, traffic a little bit. People getting from place to place. And it's time for work. So there's going to be some training here, and these guys are doing the education. 60% chance of passing. Okay, eventually these guys have to pass, right? Some of these guys have to pass, I'm hoping. This guy just started, but this guy should pass. So once these guys pass, I, hopefully they can actually work and produce stuff. Um, all right. Well, that's going on. Two more prisoners are due for release. That's awesome. One in solitary confinement. That's probably that guy for sneaking crap out. Uh, 18 visitors are on site. That's great. They're leaving, I think. So what I'm thinking of doing is starting the dog patrols. I'm going to need to build a kennel for that, and I have no idea. I've never built this stuff. This is the furthest I've actually gotten in this game, because when I played on my own, I usually had a riot or a whole bunch of people die, and then I would stop and start over. So this is kind of me sticking to it and continuing to play. Uh, so I'm learning a lot as we go, hoping that this means that the next time I play, I'll do even better. But anyways, so we've got that down. It's still time for work. Where is the foreman going? Why did you leave? Or maybe he's not needed in the shop. I don't know. It's a bit of a mystery. Okay, whatever. Um, got bunch of food. I wouldn't say we have enough food, but we have a, definitely a bunch. You know what I'm going to do? We're going to go to deployment jobs. We're going to... Oh, max nine. Yeah, we can throw a few more prisoners into these jobs. Definitely. Ah, that's why people aren't working in there. We didn't put prisoners in here to work. Alright, well hopefully tomorrow there will actually be people in here working. And we got more people, hopefully. Gonna work the laundry, gonna work the cleaning. Keep this place spot keep this place place spotless. Keep this place spotless is what I was trying to say. Uh what about jobs? Yeah, I still don't understand why people aren't actually working here. I mean they need to pass, but I don't know. I don't know how to get them to pass. Okay, whatever. We're going to feed most of these guys. That's great. That looks like a turd on the ground, even though it's bacon. Uh, move ingredients to kitchen. Okay, fair enough. Do 
and dog patrols how do we do dog patrols I'm gonna build a kennel down here um, let's check kennel forestry okay we'll handle forestry in a bit uh, exports will need to build a room kennels five by five okay do I have enough room right. five by five is seven by seven I do not so maybe we'll build the kennel out here seven by seven we'll just build it eight by eight to match this and then we'll go to uh, no no staff no objects yes uh, staff door for now because I don't know what goes in to the kennel or what goes on in the kennel so we'll just do that I'm very interested in these programs and who's passing what. Um, you know, less people interested in this. 18 and Q2 finished. Still disappointed that nobody's passing. Methadone program, that's great that we only have seven interested, I guess. Seven in Q for Alcoholics Anonymous. Interested, qualified, zero. That's too bad. Carpentry, one interested, one qualified. Perfect. I just need more people to pass. Like that guy, that we have 15 finished and 5 actually passed, which is great. I think we need carpentry tables for the workshop safety, and that's why I only have two tables and can only have two people in there at a time. I think that's what's going on. That's fine. Whatever. I'll take it two at a time. Why not? Okay, let's build the kennel here. Rooms, kennel. Where the hell's my kennel? Kennel. What do we need in a kennel? Uh, dog crate. Okay, objects. We'll put three in there for now. And we'll, we're going to need electricity here eventually. I will just continue to run electricity from here. Hopefully it won't strain this too much. It's only a few light bulbs, so I'm hoping it won't be too bad as far as electricity requirements go. These guys are going to eat. They should uh, fill up. Let's check our prisoners' needs. It's been a while. Yeah, they're all pretty happy. Um, for the most part, comfort is little drugs. They want alcohol, but that's done through programs that reduces that. Everything else is pretty good. So, yeah, that's fine. All right, we got the dog crates. We got the electricity. Uh, now we need two do two dog handlers. Staff, dog handler, and then we're gonna need patrols with them. The hell's oh I'm seeing the flashes of this thing accidentally being highlighted uh, this just lets us know that we can buy more land how much does this cost 45,000 so if I wanted to I could buy another 45,000 uh, I don't know how many acres I didn't read it but we can buy more land 75 total 9,000 acres uh, or square miles or whatever um, if we wanted to to expand but so far we're doing pretty well, as is. Hey, something happened. The wood got moved to these tables, so I'll take that as a good sign that something is, is happening here. Um, Alright, so we need to do patrols. Deployment. Dog patrols. What are we going to patrol? Let's patrol the entire perimeter. Why not? for now it's one and I'll assign a dog patrol kind of up and down here patrolling the crap out of this thing get rid of this. I'll try this again. Yeah, 
I only want one dog guard here and one dog guard there. Perfect. All right. Everyone's patrolling. So we got that, and we got some money for that. We got that achievement or whatever it's called, uh, that grant. Let's go check out our grants for a sec. So carpentry apprentice produced 10 superior beds. All right. Well, I have to work on that. Education reform we're working on. Prison manufacturing facility we're working on. Inmate nutrition is tough. I don't understand what this means. Tools and weapons hub is part of the. Tr it's trying to remove all such items from your prison population. I don't know. Um, this just takes a long time. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor through bureaucracy. Unlock tasers. Security monitor place. We can do this. I just don't want to. So we're going to hold off for a little while. Instead, we are going to take on some new prisoners. Prisoners, let's open this up. 12 new prisoners. We can handle 12. That'll put us at exactly 89. I'm fine with that. Now we need to build a new area out here. Rooms exports. And this is where, so we've got uh, deliveries, garbage, and this is where our exports will go. So whatever we build in the workshop here can go here to be exported and sold wherever. I don't know if the prisoners are supposed to take it out there or if it's the guards, so we'll find out. Uh, I'm going to be watching these guys. Hey, there's a the dog. It's freaking out a bit. Uh, carrying taser, dog leash, stab vest. That's great. So this guy's doing something over here. I don't know what operating, operate workshop saw. These guys are learning something. Awesome. Again, I have no idea what they're actually doing or producing. Hey! Hey! Trying to leave with, uh, with an item. Here, there you go. Search that guy. No, nope, let's do that. But seriously, uh, make something, produce something. Probably workshop saw. Stack, okay. So they make wood. Store wood and carpenter table. I don't quite understand what this will result in. Well, let's find out. Okay, he's taking more of the wood. They produced a whole bunch of sale price 400, so I can sell those directly and they'll sell for more than the logs themselves. But actually, do something with it. I don't know how to produce license plates. I wonder if I... Oh, I got new authorize. Authorize your armed guards to use lethal force. Huh. That's fun. Uh, finance programs. How do I carpentry apprentice? Do I? Is there a way to select what they produce? All right. High value wooden items. Methadone program. Alcoholics. General education. Workshop safety. Okay. Brands, no policy, no. Regime, contraband, no. I don't know how to regulate what they produce. I don't want any more prisoners after this. Staff is fine. Yeah, I have no idea how to regulate what they actually produce. So, I don't know. Somehow we'll make license plates, I think. 
rooms. What do we have that we haven't built? Forestry, we haven't built. Everything else, security, forestry, storage. Uh, maybe prison. Here is your prison staff need. I'm afraid to build storage outside in case it's actually useful stuff. Um, medium size, 5x5 five five outdoor. I think this just grows trees. Let's try it. Build this, this forestry. This is probably where they're going to grow some trees. Can I deploy people here? No. I cannot. Okay, that's fine. All right. Contraband, emergencies, clone, planning, grading. I haven't checked this. Reoffending rate, 42%. Prison value, oh cool. Daily profit, capacity, death in, deaths in custody. Yep. Uh, prisoners escaped six. Yep. Uh, but we've released 17. That's something. And health. Uh, we're working on reform. I don't know. I, I'm guessing zero is bad. Punishment. Uh, it's better than negative one, though. But I guess this only goes from zero to ten. Damn. All right. Well, you know, whatever. We're, we're doing the best we can. I'd like to put more tables in here, ultimately. So let's go ahead and put in bench, 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 bench. Perfect. All right. So more benches, more tables, and we could probably do another, maybe one, maybe two of those. Yard's pretty crowded. Doesn't seem that crowded. It's just everyone's crowding around the phones and stuff, calling their families or calling their drugs, calling their families about drugs. I don't know. How the hell do I get these people to pass this foundation course? Needs no programs, yes. I've got all these people signed up, I think. And this many interested. And yet nobody's actually passed, as far as I can tell. All I need is I need 15 prisoners to pass. We got 14, wow. Uh, that have passed the methadone stuff. Eat and Q for that. Yeah, I need these people to pass this stupid, um, stupid stuff, basically. All right, we've got a stack of wood here in the carpentry table. I can't make license plates out of it, I don't think. Are we coming along for food? We're doing all right for food. So how many are available? Race, resting, station, patrolling five. Okay. There's my dog, my guard. Come on. Do something. I hate how they all use the same door. I wish they would realize that there are three doors and they can use different ones, but... I don't know. I've got most of these programs going. I feel pretty good about that. You know, the doctors are, aren't even that useful. Food's fine. Dogs are fine. Laundry's done eventually. Given enough time. There we go. There's some people in the laundry. These guys are doing something. If only I knew what they were actually doing. And how the hell do they come in through the walls? Did you put the logs back? What the hell's going on? 
Maybe they just keep chopping logs until they can't chop anymore and then eventually they build something with this. Stack of 40, stack of 20. Hmm, I don't know. Hey, they planted trees. Somebody planted trees. All right. We lost another inmate, but I think it's because they got released or something. We used to have 89, now it's 88 out of 89. And ultimately, I would like to expand the prison, maybe even this way. Uh, so I can take on more prisoners, I can get to 100, get that achievement or that unlocked. I don't know if I'll have a big enough kitchen for 100. I might have to create another canteen. Well, this might do. I don't know. A hundred is not that much more. I definitely don't think I could go way above a uh, hundred with what I have. I basically would have to build another shower, a whole bunch of other stuff. Let's work on expanding uh, this. We have enough money. What I might do is build like a high security area. I'll expand this way. I'm going to start by building a fence. That's the first thing. There we go. So once that fence is built, we can tear down this fence. And staff members resting out to guard. Hey, they got tasers now. That's awesome. All right. I'm really curious to find out what's going to happen with these workshops. So that's why I'm kind of just waiting. And these guys are doing a great job building out that fence. So we'll let them do that. Earning a really good amount of money on a daily basis, so I'm pretty happy about that. Alright, free time. You know, I'm going to hire another cook. We'll go for eight. One, two, three, four. Uh, I only have four burners, but... Um, Alright, so there's our teacher. There's our families coming in to visit. Another prisoner is due for release. So at this rate, I will get all of these prisoners released and out of here. Which makes me pretty happy about that. Mostly because a lot of these guys are uh, low offenders or whatever, so. So they get released pretty quickly. No, you idiot. Why are you trying to steal crap? Search that person. Why are. Then she search him. Uh, he's trying to steal a saw. All right, build something useful. Come on. These guys are learning. They're just chopping wood to make boards. I don't understand what the end result of this is going to be. Okay, now we have boards over here. Move wood to exports, okay. So they're just creating boards. It's not very useful. I mean, yes, it's nice, I'll get money for it, but I was hoping they would actually produce something of value. Do I have anything else I can build? Ship saw, more ship press, carpentry table. I built everything I can in a regular table. I built everything I can in here. build a large window for whatever good that'll do make them happy about the environment that they're living in alright we've got our fence pretty much built so what we can do 
is we can start dismantling this fence. Demolish walls. Let's make sure we don't leave a hole in the fence as we're doing this. Hopefully we don't. Yep. Yep. Alright, so this is going to get demolished eventually. And then we can build I can build a building vertically this way. Maybe expand the yard a bit. Build some more phone booths or something. They seem to be crowding around those phone booths. It seems to be kind of the popular thing to to do in the yard. Is there anything in that I can build in the yard besides weight bench, phone booth? You can build a bench or whatever. Good, that'll do. Sure. Maybe they'll sit on it. So, exports are gone. I think that's a good thing. We might have gotten paid for some of that stuff. We'll see. Yeah, this is a learning experience. Eventually I will probably read the wiki or the blog or whatever it is uh, on this. Maybe watch somebody else play so I can learn a bit more about the game. I'm going to do this uh, grant to build my prison up to 100 prisoners. Uh, but for now, so this is just a learning experience really. Policy, no, no, programs. Workshop safety, okay. I am getting people past that, well, six people. Still pissed off that nobody's passed this. Twenty have finished and nobody has been able to pass it. Uh, foundation, education, six interested. We have, I mean, this is full. Yeah, nobody has passed that. Damn you, dumb people. Be smarter. Alright, so we've got our land expanded we have a bench here for anybody that wants to sit down later on you know I should build additional phone booths objects actually we'll expand the yard uh, actually before I expand the yard I need to figure out what I'm gonna build here Do I want to expand this building you know I can expand this building out this way and that wouldn't be too bad and then I can expand the yard build some more food tables in there yeah, that'll work. Can I do that, or will that screw things up? This might screw up. I've had this screw up before. So you know what? We're going to just build a separate building. It could be right next door to that one. But it'll be its own entity as far as I am concerned. And this can house our maximum security prisoners. So we're going to go to objects and we'll build a couple of doors in here. Now I got to watch out because this is very close to the exit here, so they could potentially tunnel out of there. So I'm probably going to build a shower on this side and maybe maximum security cells there. All right, well some doors in. I don't know if three doors is a good idea in my maximum security kind of area, but that's fine. Whatever. Doing the best that we can. I think that laundry basket's pretty much stuck there. Okay, that's our construction material. Tell me that's visitors and not prisoners running out of there. Okay, good. Alright, we'll build the building and let's lay out some more tables, I think. Okay, I can I only have enough room for one more set of tables and chairs, that's fine. I'm only shooting for really a hundred prisoners or thereabouts, maybe a little over a hundred. Why did I build this like that? That's right, okay, this is gonna go there. 
There we go. Perfect. And then I think what I need to do is build a few more cookers in here. Objects. Where's my cooker? So a few more cookers in here so we can cook some more food. And did we have an OD? Yeah, all right. So we need a doctor to go treat this guy. Oops. Doc, are you on your way? Okay, good. The doctor's on his way. All right, so we've got our prisoners in the laundry. What's this one? Teaching? Psychologist? I don't know what you're teaching, but keep at it. Can't I think he thought there might be a door there. I was trying to make it to the Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. I want these guys to produce something actually useful. So far, all they're doing is chopping this wood. Uh, but, I mean, at least they got that out of there. And we'll see what happens with this. In the meantime, I'm going to start also planning to run electricity there. What I need to do is run electricity. Oh, I guess I never finished running electricity this way. We're going to run this like this. And then we will cut off this electricity afterwards. Why did I do this? I'll do this. So we'll run electricity across like this, then we'll cut this off uh, here. Actually, let's cut this off. Let's cut this off here like so. Let's cut this off here like so. Um, no, that's not what I want to do. All right. From here on out, we're going to cut that off, and then we're going to just run electricity across this way. And eventually, we'll make it to this building. As long as the power grids don't touch, I can have separate power grids between that and this one. And we'll speed things up a bit. Again, no idea what's going on in these workshops, but they're slowly getting rid of all of these stacks of wood, so I'm assuming that's a good thing. Hopefully I can get this electricity stuff situated in a little while. And they should be able to finish this building soon. There we go. Perfect. Now they'll install all the light bulbs and we can start planning out how we're going to turn that into our maximum security wing. Meantime, we got more tables. We've got more cookers in here. Uh, we do need to run. Do I have these facing backwards? I have these guys facing backwards, I think. Uh, that's. I wonder if that's a problem. I wonder if, no, it's not a problem because, all right, whatever, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, object, can I turn that off, dismantle object? No, I guess it's a little too late, uh, too little, too late. Uh, somehow these guys are getting powered. I think they're getting power from down here, but we'll, just in case we'll do that. Needless to say, um, yeah, two extra cookers is probably good. I don't have the fridge space to necessarily hold all this food, but I could put some fridges out here in the middle of the floor, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, good. They're installing light bulbs. We've got the electricity going. Utilities. Did this get strained out? Yes. Perfect. So this is connected. This is not connected. Different power grids. We need to run pipes across here. Well, let's do this. Run the pipe here. And then we'll figure out where to go from there. 
Let's just run it a little bit further towards the building. Okay. Now, this building. Let's go to planning and let's figure out. Uh, you know what I can actually do? I can clone now, which is nice. And so, for example, I can highlight this area, which is a bunch of cells, and I can clone it. So if we decide, let's do two away from the wall, because I don't want them accidentally getting out. Do something like this. We can clone a whole bunch of cells. Perfect. So that's a start. And we're going to do deployment, and what we're going to do is do max security only, and do there. Well, this, well, I don't know, I, I guess I could specify minimum and maximum, but this is fine. Uh, what happened to my water utilities? Did my water get cut off? Or did I? Ah, damn it. The water pipes were connected to that. Okay. So I not only I deleted both utilities when I did that. My bad. All right, utilities, electrical grid. We need to do. What the hell is they? Is that? Is that the gardener? Yeah, it's the gardener cleaning up. Utilities, electrical. We need to run electricity maybe here, and we'll run it through like that. And we'll run one through like this and up here. So that way that should power pretty much everything in here. Uh, we now have 80, 92 cells. We can start planning on taking in prisoners. What I'm thinking is we finally take on some high-risk prisoners. No, I don't want 17. Because I can't even handle 17. I can handle 12. And that's assuming that you know we can feed them and stuff. Having a bit of trouble there. I finally have people working in the kitchen. Oh my god, finally. I think I just needed extra cookers for them. People in the kitchen, people working in the laundry, that's wonderful. And people doing random shit in the workshop, I don't know. I still have no idea what the hell it is that they're doing, but I'm glad that they're doing it. Produce freaking license plates. Yeah, I'll have to look this up. How to how to produce or how to manufacture license plates? Because I don't see a manufacturing room. I just see the workshop. Education. Execution. Oh. Well, that could have been a mistake. <laughs> Education. Execution. Eh, tomato. Tomato. Should probably try not to make that mistake in real life. That is why I'm not running a prison, folks. We're sending you to the education room. <laughs> Whoops. All right. Uh, let's find out if we can feed all these. We're close because we usually don't get this close on the uh, morning attempt or the afternoon. Like lunchtime, we usually never get this high percentage. And then we make up for it in dinner time. So this seems pretty good, actually. Two in solitary or one in solitary, one awaiting. To in lockdown for whatever. Bound drugs. Alright, but we're getting our prison cells put in. I'm very happy about that. And we are going to... So now we're up to 95. You know what? Now I can take in 17. So let's take in those 17 high-risk prisoners. Fine. Uh, we'll go to utilities and we will run some pipes through these toilets. And we should be able to do this but you know what I think it's easier if I do this so this is where the big pipe is gonna have to go and 
and I'll probably do back-to-back -back cells so let's actually before we get too far ahead of ourselves let's copy these guys new nope. we're gonna clone oops we're gonna clone something like this I don't know I'm doing two at a time but that's fine I just want to see how it'll look perfect okay that's great and then that matches up well it'll have to match up with how the toilets are gonna go uh, and then what we can do is run the big pipe utilities we'll run the big pipe through here and then we'll just make all of this run it into here um, make all of these guys connect up to that pipe so that way I only have to do this once so when I build up here uh, I can use this main pipe because if you start building too many small pipes and they're too far away you won't get enough water pressure or water flow or whatever the terminology is uh, but it won't work basically is what will happen so we have enough electricity I think so alright so I th I don't know I don't know if red is good or bad uh, we did get most, most of the people fed, 96%. That's awesome. And we're building crap in the workshop. Got our visitors and our classroom. These guys are doing their thing. Uh, I meant to expand the yard, and I still do. So we're going to go to materials and fence, and we will expand this yard out to here, maybe. Demolish that, and then we can put another door in. Uh, objects door, put another one in here, and then we can put in a whole bunch more phone booths and whatever. I think a bench is a good idea. I didn't realize that benches are good. It just lets them sit, raises their comfort. Hygiene, okay, good times. What's going on here? Oh, oops, materials, brick wall. I guess I must have accidentally torn down that wall. <clears throat> and I think it's a good idea. After uh, work, after they eat and work, we do a shakedown before uh, we take on the uh, high risk prisoners. I think that is would be prudent all right so they're going to eat i'm hoping to get these cells finished one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we're taking on 17 high-risk prisoners so we need pretty much all the rest of those cells let's go to our clone here and we'll try to build the rest of these cells out okay and okay so how many is that one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen it's close I just need two more sixteen seventeen and then whatever it's okay if we're missing one Now I'm really hoping that they actually put the prisoners where I expect them to go. Why are the toilets... Oh, damn it, the toilets are going to be on the other side. Utility is fine. You know what? It's not a big deal. Just do do that. Not what I was expecting because, I yeah, I copied everything. So that also means toilets. Um, all right, it's fine. Oh, hey, we got 20,000 grants for, oh yeah, for the taking in 100 prisoners, okay. We don't actually need to take in 100 prisoners, I guess. We only need to build the prison large enough to be able to take in 100 prisoners. Uh, these guys are working, again, producing crap that I don't understand. 
Uh, these guys are having their AA meeting without our psychologist friend. Uh, escape zero today. That's good. Why is that flashing? I don't know. Uh, we're going to start locking this gate, I think. And locking this gate. I have enough people patrolling out here that they can unlock it as needed. And then we're going to do our shakedown. We'll see what we find. We found a whole bunch of stuff already, I think. I'm not sure if this counts just like stuff that we found recently or or what. Saw, SIGs, poison. But we are finding a whole bunch of stuff and that's good. Alright, so let's do that. While that's going on, I'm gonna copy one more of these. We're just gonna do a singular this time. And go and build last one so we can hold I didn't realize how quickly they'll they built the stuff so there we go this doesn't make sense I have an even number one two three four five six seven eight nine so this puts me at 18 oh I had enough already oh whatever why are you guys searching these cells are empty. So this might piss them off because we're waking them up on the other hand. Uh, I'm going to feel better if we get rid of the contraband. It's been a, a few days since we've last done this, so needles, drugs, mostly spoons. I want to make sure nobody's digging their way out of here. That's kind of important. So there's one. There's a tunnel that somebody was digging. We are going to go to materials and remove tunnel and get that removed, hopefully. Only one tunnel, which is pretty damn good. I remember when everybody was really pissed off at me and then people were digging tunnels all over the place. Wow, my cash flow has gone down. I wonder if it's because I've had a bunch of prisoners released, maybe. Or maybe it's because I built so much extra stuff to, and it has to be maintained. But yeah, the cash flow has down, gone down quite significantly. Nine awaiting solitary. Wow. Obviously, it's uh, from all this contraband that we're finding. I should put a door up here. I don't know why I haven't yet. I'll make this a bit easier to manage. We'll put one right there. And we're almost done with the searches, and we're almost on our way to uh, the new prisoners arriving. What's going on here? Oh, we can't build. Is that a pipe? Uh, utilities. No. What's this? Two by three. No, I didn't. Uh, rooms. Just get rid of that. There we go. All right, perfect. New prisoners. Let's go turn this off. So the high risk prisoners wear red. Medium is orange, low risk is gray. We're going to hopefully move the high risk prisoners, seven, all 17 of them, into, well, into their new cells eventually. At least I think that's how it's going to happen. I don't know what these guys are doing. This guy's learning, these guys are just putting in boards. They're going to be exported. Mm. All right, come on. Start escorting these guys. This guy looks like a low risk prisoner to me. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> He's just wearing a gray 
jacket, so I assumed he was low risk. Alright, the shakedown's over. Why aren't these guys being moved? They should at least be moved to a holding cell, right? There they go. I'll slowly get moved to wherever they need to go. I'm assuming. Alright, prisoners have been let out or whatever. Visitors have been let out. Prisoners, visitors. Same difference. Okay, and these guys are being moved to wherever it is that they need to go. How do I figure out which one I need to execute? <laughs> I want to start executing some of these guys. Just because I haven't done that yet. I don't know how to figure that out. Hmm. Or is it just my call, like I get to decide? Workshop, we have eight past kitchen, two pass, zero pass, carpentry, apprenticeship, one interested, qualified, one finished, zero pass. So maybe they have to pass before they can start making anything good. Foundation education, 12 pass. All right, we're almost there. We need 15. And then that means we can also do this, general education qualification, uh, once we get these guys to pass the foundation. So, all right, so it'll take a little bit more time, but eventually we'll we'll get there. I wonder if my schedule regime, normal, maximum security, I guess normal and max are the same. Ah, hmm. huh, interesting. So the yard's bigger now. Don't everybody crowd in here. Everyone goes for the phones. Yeah, we definitely need more phones in here then. So that seems to be a popular thing to do. So this way they won't all crowd around we'll put some phones out here and maybe some benches out here <clears throat> get these guys a little bit dispersed that way they uh, hopefully won't all just end up in one area look at that nobody's murdered each other so I feel that that is progress well made today. And the max security people are ending, ending up where they need to, and that's good. I have a bunch of prisoners that are happy. Uh, search recently, 50 minutes say they're well treated, yeah, and only 12 with complaints, so I'm pretty satisfied with that. How you doing, sir? What are you in for? Uh, grievous bodily harm, seven years. That's, I guess, max. That counts, technically. Oh. Doesn't seem like that should be max. Murder, on the other hand, should probably be a max. Um, sentence, ignore advice and fail to take frequent breaks during coding sessions. My life, fatigue, most strain soon. Tragic events, returns, and on the TV movie, Carpal Tunnel of Death. The Peter Knowles story. Ah. Uh, I don't get it. Peter Knowles, why does that name sound familiar? Okie dokie. Alright, so everything's going swimmingly so far. Um, let's finish off this day and then I'll put a break in this video. This is, a, this is, a probably, this is probably a pretty long video I've had here. And that's okay. Foundation, we're going to build, boom, our shower right here. Does it need to be bigger? I'm thinking maybe. Maybe we build the shower up to here. First things first, though. Okay, let's do this. We're going to slow stuff down a little. We're going to clone our uh, solitary. Yes. No, I can't clone the whole thing. I can only clone a certain amount. So we'll clone two of these. No. Clone. All right, we'll clone two of these, just to make it a little bit easier. And we'll build the solitary up here. So we can build four, maybe. And I wish I could rotate this, but I can't. Nope, don't build it. 
Uh, rooms. All right. So we're building this solitary here, I think. I'm not sure if the walls are going to get built, actually. Doesn't look like they are, but yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, demolish wall. We're going to demolish this. All right. So we're going to build solitary first. Then what we can do is build our brick walls like so. And we'll build some showers. And then I'll build some more cells or something in there. And again, these aren't going to be big showers. Yeah. These are going to be kind of shitty showers, so maybe we will build them all the way out to here, because this could be a big building out here. So I'll build, I'll just build showers all along the wall there. We'll build a door. Objects, door, we'll build a door right here, and we'll build a door right here, so that way they're not all crowding. Uh, we'll build a drain on top of the door. And I wonder if I could just build the shower heads. Like so. Yeah, this works. They're not exactly lined up, but that's fine. So this should work, theoretically. And we'll eventually have to run some water through there too. So let's go to utilities. And that's why I have the pipe there. So I can do something like that. Like that. Like that. And like that. No, but I think that removed the wall. Damn. Alright, perfect. So we're going to have... Why is this... Oh, that's where the main pipe is. Alright. So we're going to have showers. We're going to have our solitary, and then we can build more cells in here. As needed, we can take in some more high-risk inmates. Look at our cash flow. I think that's because of the high-risk inmates, obviously. This, we took in 17, and our cash flow went up by almost 4,000. But these guys will have their own solitary area, and they'll have their own showers. I mean, I guess they can use these showers because I'm not restricting the buildings or anything, but I think they'll use the closest ones. Same with the solitary, so I'm hoping they end up in here. Mostly because I also set this whole building, yeah, deployment. See, if I put this as minimum security, I think that's... sets the whole building to minimum security. I can make this shower... Medium security only, but that doesn't quite work for me either. <coughs> so, I don't know. Whatever. We're doing well. This guy's patrolling here still. Got the phone booth, the benches, everything's great. We're going to need water up here. Utilities, let's just run the water from here, from the showers. We should be able to run it here. Here. Actually, why am I doing that? Well, whatever. All right, so we got the toilets. We'll get water in there eventually. Yeah, install pipe. I'll figure out what to do. They're smart people. And then we'll duplicate these cells, and we'll just build more cells and more cells, and we'll fill this building with maximum security prisoners. I'm hoping that... Food-wise and everything will be fine. I'm hoping we can get this education thing finished. Okay, I just need, uh, just need three more people to pass. Kitchen safety. Wow, 29 have finished and only two have passed. Yeah, once this is done, uh, foundation education, I'm going to have to cancel that program because I need the classroom for three hours, and then we'll do general education. Um, can hire externally, students sit, academic, intermediate, must have completed foundation education, yep. So, are all these high-risk prisoners? Yeah, they are. High-risk, high-risk, Scott Steele. It's like Max Powers. 
Oh, just open the damn door. Build the damn pipe. There you go. That'll help. Okay. Um, so let's quickly copy some of these cells. Uh, I'm just going to clone some more of these guys. We'll build them. Well, actually, hold on. We're going to clone a whole section because, oops, there we go. Because so that's better. We'll build it like this. And I just need a singular area, like so. And we'll build the last one here. Yeah. Perfect. It's a lot of money, but we have a hell of a lot now uh, of space for prisoners. And if we go to utilities, we'll just need to make sure to get these guys hooked up uh, for pipes. Get all of these guys hooked up to the main pipe. And we should be pretty good. And that's where I'm going to stop. Perfect. All right. Hopefully, I don't know if they'll be able to finish the shower in time before um, these guys wake up and actually go shower. We'll see. Are all of these cells taken except for one? That's what should be happening. Yeah, all of these cells are used up except for that one. Uh, let's see if these guys actually use the shower. No. That's right, because I didn't mark this off as shower. So that was my bad. So here we go. Shower. Perfect. So next time they should use this one, theoretically. And that's it. So that's our prison. I'm pretty happy with where we've gotten. I'd like to, let's see, if we go to reports, let's go to grants, actually. Slow things down a bit so I don't have something explode on me while I'm looking. Cell block D, 200 prisoners. Ugh, that's going to be hard. Uh, Long-term investment we can do. I might as well do this now, even though uh, it's going to reset probably very soon. So where's our long-term investment? I don't even see it popping in here. Just kind of went away. Um, all right, we can do this. Increase the size of your security force. Unlock body armor. We have most of this done. I don't know what this needs to be increased to, but we'll do it. Build a C CCTV monitor and cameras we can do. Um, produce 10 superior beds. We'll work towards that. And that's pretty much it. So two more hidden goals. I don't know. Once I've accomplished all the goals, I think... Uh, or most of the goals. That's probably where I'll stop because I don't know if this has an end or if you just keep going indefinitely. I will probably build another kitchen out here, I'm thinking. Whoa, look at all these people in the... Oh, they're in the reform program, I see. Oh, that's good. It's a good thing. Uh, all right, so, yeah, so I'll probably build out another kitchen, cantina, kitchen area. I don't know if I need too much anything else. Maybe another classroom up here or another workshop, so maybe they can produce more. How the hell? Uh, sheet metal. Okay, so we're producing stuff. I don't know how, but we're making things. That's awesome. Eventually, I'm hoping we'll get to license plates then. Um, fantastic. And that's pretty much it. And I'm hoping our education pays off. Hey, these guys are getting educated. Educated. that's really good. I can get these guys to pass. Three more people need to pass, and uh, then we can move on to the higher education. I guess even more people because uh, I don't know what the percentage is out of those 15 that'll take the general education course, and then how many will actually pass. So anyway, that's something. All right, we've got a lot to do, a lot to watch out for. This stuff needs to be built up. 
I'm gonna throw another ut objects. I'm gonna throw another laundry basket in here. Maybe two more because it seems like we need them. And it's pretty much it. They do seem to lose the laundry baskets occasionally and then never come back for them. That seems to be a thing. Showers are almost built. There's that one pipe missing. These guys are almost done with the toilets and such. Yeah. Pretty happy. Anyways, folks, if you enjoyed this long episode, please leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. And as always, my name is Adusium. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope you keep on tuning in as I play some more prison art, art, art attack, prison artichoke. But until then, uh, I'll see you guys later.